here's the first technique I'm going to teach you. Let's start working by cutting the DNA strand using molecular scissors. The fragment that we get would later be ligated with plasmids. Let me show you how this is done. The complicated human body contains many internal organs, such as the pancreas in the abdominal cavity. If we take a section of the pancreas, we find beta cells of the islets of Langerhans. Each beta cell, just before dividing, shows well-defined chromosomes. The chromosome has specific regions that are responsible for encoding particular proteins called genes. One such gene produces the protein insulin, which helps in controlling the blood sugar level. The identified gene is then treated with a DNA cutting enzyme called restriction endonuclease. This gives rise to a fragment containing the desired insulin producing gene. The desired fragment is then collected and added to the plasmids, previously isolated from the bacterium. The plasmids are the circular extra chromosomal DNA factor of bacteria containing a replication origin, antibiotic resistance genes and restriction endonuclease cutting site. The plasmid is treated with the same restriction endonuclease enzyme which produces two sticky ends. Enzyme ligase is then added. This ligase joins the two ends of the plasmid with the two ends of the insulin gene. Such a DNA formed by the union of fragments of genetic material derived from two different organisms is called recombinant DNA. The recombinant DNA is then mixed with E. coli bacterial cells. Some of the bacterial cells take up the recombinant DNA. Those bacterial cells containing the recombinant DNA are then introduced into the agar medium for growth. The bacterial cells then divide to give rise to thousands of cells. Each cell contains recombinant DNA carrying the desired insulin gene. Chromosomes contain genes that code for specific proteins. Insulin gene produces insulin controlling the blood sugar level. The gene is treated with restriction endonuclease. Desired fragment is collected and added to the plasmids. Plasmid is treated with the same restriction endonuclease enzyme. Enzyme ligase joins the plasmid with the insulin gene. Such a DNA is called recombinant DNA. Recombinant DNA is mixed with E. coli cells introduced into the agar medium for growth. Bacterial cells then divide, producing insulin. 